Shut up and sit down. Welcome back. It's the Down For a Punch Cast episode 8. This is segment 2. Segment 2. I'm your host, Jason Saris, and with me is uh, Dave Reed. Legendary, legendary. Unis- legendary unicycle juggler. It's been my profession since I was 10. Yeah. So I made my name. One of these Probably. days I'm going to catch one of your shows. And, uh, Maybe um, I put it on YouTube or something. I don't know. <laughs> We got a pretty gross story for you. Uh, it's coming out of Kotaku. Uh, they did an interview with a gentleman by the name of Patrick Chi. He owns a repair shop for video game consoles in, in Manhattan. And he has found that there is an abundance of PS4s that are harboring cockroaches. I think we're going to say bad games. That's the Xbox One. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. Sorry. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so apparently the PlayStation 4 is like a magnet for cockroaches. Mm-hmm. It has something to do with the ventilation because it ventilates to the it vents out to the sides and they have pretty big vents. It draws interest from cockroaches because they like dar- dark, warm places. So That's they correct. run in there, they run around inside, hit poop. the power cell and poop and everything and, else. And yep. it all gets a fried to the internal components and then the ps4 stops working that is correct it happens all the time how disgusting is that how uh horrible that you may not know if a system that you bought from somebody or from a particular store might be uh you know infested in a sense and then when you bring them into your house look we all know roaches supposedly can you know survive a nuclear explosion those and pop tarts i think are supposed to be (laughs) no twinkies twinkies yes twinkies Twinkies, yeah. yeah yeah Um, there's a Simpsons episode that did that. Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. Family Guy did too. <laughs> but but that's disgusting. And to your point, yeah, I mean, yeah, like a lot of people like to buy used consoles, mm-hmm. and that is something that I would never think of. Well, I don't think I'll ever be buying a used PS4. That's for sure. Yeah, me either. It terrifies me because, you know, it's not like it's not like anywhere is immune to roaches. Like, um, I was in Florida, and. Uh, I was in a, a pretty nice area. It was Palm, uh, not Palm Spring, um, Panama City, uh, which okay. is like a huge spring break resort kind yeah. of area. A lot of hotels, restaurants, you know, big place for teenagers to go on stuff. Um, vacation resort, essentially. And um, there were, uh, there were like roaches down there that are, I think they call them like palmetto bugs or something. But to us, they would essentially be roaches. To them, they're kind of a common insect, right? Palmetto bugs are like, I mean, we have those here, and those are little teeny right. potato bugs is another term for them. Those are little. These things roaches, are legitimate but, roaches, but yeah. they have a different name for them. Whereas, like, we associate roaches in the north as, like, a dirty, you know, like a dirty dwelling, you know, is going to have a lot of these things. Or, like, you know, where people don't, like, take care of stuff, hoard, maybe throw food in the ground, you know, whatever. Yeah, I mean, we We, we associate, essentially associate roaches with dirt, right, and, like, like a dirty lifestyle. Right. Whereas, like, in the south, they're a fairly common bug, but they still are pretty much of the same family, as far as I know. And the reason I mention this is that they're, like, I was, you know, you'd see them everywhere. And uh, but they're not as alarming as like when they are in the like if they're in, if they're in your house you're just like oh man better burn it down you know or like get an exterminator <laughs> or whatever even if they can hopefully take care of it um, but down there it's it's a little bit more common and I remember um, I was hanging out with a, a friend of mine and um, I had met them actually playing an MMO um, so I took a chance last year and I went down. You met these friends, or you met the roaches? Yeah, I met like these two these two friends of mine that I've known for. So there's no roach on a headset playing in World of Warcraft. No, no, no. Uh, Well, depends if you've ever seen like South Park. I'm sure that's been the thing. (laughs) But uh, so I I I met these guys over an MMO um, about ten years ago, and um, you know we kept in touch and we played the game for a long, long, long time. And um, you know obviously we we talked on the phone and did other things or whatever. And I was like, you know what? I'm like, "Ah, I'm gonna go fly down and go meet these people for the hell of it, right? So I did, and it, I had a great time. You know, we were we hung out. These are good people, and um, uh, we had a lot of fun. But one of the things I noticed is that, like, one of his friends, um, one of my friends, rather, uh, that, that lives down there is kind of like a collector of games, right? Game systems, he refurbishes them. He's a pretty savvy guy, knows how to, like, take apart a system, fix whatever broken parts are in it, and, like, and make it work again. Okay. He's a good dude. 
And uh, he's got a nice little collection of stuff, some pretty cool items that I hadn't seen in a long time or some rare games, you know. And uh, I remember at one point, like, he held up a PS2. And he's like, here. He's like, I want you to smell this. And I was like, okay. So I smelled it, and I'm like, smells kind of weird. You know, it doesn't smell like like clean plastic or, you know, or like right off the assembly line. I'm like, it smells strange. He's like, that's what roaches smell like. Oh, God. He's like, you can't get rid of that smell. He's like, they, there's nothing in here anymore. He's like, but they leave like a lingering smell in your system. Now, I can't describe it necessarily, but if you've smelled it and someone tells you that that's what it is, you'll know it for the rest of your life. Jeez. Um, but like that system essentially was infested at one point. And, uh, you know, it was cleaned out or whatever and taken care of um, and then, you know, put back in working order. But they do, like, they do ruin, like, the circuitry of the system. Yeah. And most likely because they're either reproducing inside or they're eating or they're pooping or whatever it is. And they actually do break hardware. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, going back to something we were kind of talking about before the show, but, like, back in the day, like, systems didn't necessarily have, like, these ventilation systems, right? So they were kind of like built like built like solid bricks in a way, and um, whereas like now like these things generate so much heat because of what they need to produce right in order to keep it cool and keep because we don't want another Xbox 360 on our hands yeah right? no red ring of death exactly so they've come up with like some better ways to like ventilate these things and like uh, these systems and like you know keep them in working order for a much longer period of time. But um, at the same time, these things generate a lot of heat, which roaches like they're very dark, which roaches like. Um, and they get in there, and they're they're kind of like ruining like these systems. And like I know I know some companies that will take in trades. And if for example, if they choose, if they notice that like the thing has had roaches in it, whether it's like a dead leg that falls out of the system, or you know, shoot, pull the hard drive out, and a, a live one just shows up. I mean, you know, it's, these are the things that have happened. <laughs> um, they won't take them. Yeah, even and, the even the guy in the story. I mean, he he's the co-founder of a repair shop. And they have had so many of these instances, like there's bags and bags of just dead roaches that they're throwing away mm -hmm. on like a weekly basis. They have instituted some sort of like roach repair fee yes, because they're getting them so frequently and they don't want to keep turning the business away yep. that now they just charge as though it's a refurbished fee or a maintenance fee, just as common as one of those more typical things. Now it's just roach cleaning fee you know more power to them because like there are uh, some companies out there that will if they again if they take in trades um like uh some of these even like these mom and pop shops too like if for example like they they take a system in and they actually didn't realize that it had roaches in it maybe they found out later they'll throw them away and they'll take the loss because roaches um uh from what i understand like if you kill them like say you step on it and you're like oh, i'm gonna kill this thing get rid of it uh, there's a good chance that if it, say, maybe was pregnant, uh, that the babies would be somewhere in your shoe and then you could take them home with you. So it's like a really delicate situation. Yeah, they're hard to get rid of, I guess. Right, right. Yeah, they're very they resilient. They spread salmonella. I mean, it's a big problem. And I don't know, you feel terrible because there's probably some teenage kid going into a store somewhere. Can't and, afford a new system. Yeah, so they convince their parent to buy them a... A used PS4, get it home, and now you got a whole infestation problem before right. you know it, which is terrible. I mean, the best case scenario is just that your system breaks. Yes. The yeah. worst case scenario is that now you have a problem. Yeah, like, like a big your, problem. your the forty dollars you saved on a used system now might cost you a few hundred in 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 you know having to get your house sprayed. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and that's a huge issue. You know what I mean? And like, I think um, when it comes down to it. Uh, I think one of the hardest things that maybe like any any employee of any store has to take care of is that, you know, you're having to approach a situation where somebody's trying to trade in their thing for whatever reason that they need to, and you're having to essentially tell them that they're maybe like their house has got bugs in it, oh, or yeah. like maybe they live a dirty <sighs> lifestyle without really saying so. I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I wouldn't be want to be that person. Like, no, to have that conversation. Like, I'm that's... sure it's very difficult. And yeah. I can only imagine, like, having to explain to somebody that, like, I'm sorry I can't take this because it appears that you have lifestyle issues. You know what I mean? Almost essentially is what you're and saying. And really, it may not even be their fault. I right. Mean, they could it have could be the neighbors. Some... Yeah, I mean, it could be all kinds of things. Right. Now, Sony declines the repair of these, and they're not considered warranty, mm -hmm. which I don't blame them for because it's not any defect of Sony's that... They'll that... infest your entire location of wherever you store these things yeah. at. I mean, it's not like these things don't find a way out of their little container, you know what I mean? They'll they'll get out. 
Now, when when Sony eventually designs the PS5, mm -hmm. is this something that they have to take into consideration now? I mean, it, this is a big issue. I mean, apparently it's affecting enough customers. It was enough to, issue to make a story out of. Yeah, and to have an interview. I mean, Kotaku yeah. flew a guy in to, to have a, an interview with him, I guess. But do they now have to look at this and say, all right, how do we vent this thing without making the vents so big? Or I mean, is this something that they has to go into a design choice now? I really hope it does because – you know, you're you're running now. Granted, if if you were if I was Sony, I would essentially say this: like, well, we release new systems, we don't sell used ones. So if for some reason you choose to go out and go buy a used one instead of buying one of our new ones, that's really your problem. Okay. Now, is it like is it really our problem that we designed uh, possibly a system that maybe is an attractor to this sort of problem? We didn't really factor that in, and not necessarily is it our issue. Again, you really shouldn't have this problem to begin with. So if I were Sony, I probably would just be like, this isn't my issue. Like, I'm not going to put this. Now, if it doesn't cost them a lot of R&D, like money and, and time, I wouldn't. I Maybe they will, but I doubt it. Well, I, I mean, I think it all comes down to dollars and cents, to your point. But I think it goes beyond just the how much does it cost to make this design work. Sure. Because if you think about however many PS4s this is affecting, how many of those people are not going to buy another PS4? I mean, if your PS4 breaks and you have this gross experience with it, maybe you don't take the risk again, mm -hmm. or maybe you just can't afford to buy another one. Now you're not buying software for the system either. So there might be other places that Sony is going to eventually lose money on, even though this, again, I don't think is their fault by any means. Oh, no. And who would have predicted that this was going to be an issue? I mean, every no. console has to vent heat and this is the first one we've ever heard this with. I mean, yeah. the Xbox One has got ventilation. 360s, the 360... I know, are also an attractor for this thing, too. Really? Way. Yes. Yeah. yeah, they're very common in 360s. I mean, given their age and, you know, I mean, anything could be inside one of those things. I'm not saying that's what caused the red rings back in the day, but, um, you know, shoot, we know that they got hot enough to melt video cards, so... That's what you know, the red. That's what caused the red ring. Yeah, too. It, it, would was, uh, it would. It would like bend the card so much that it would pop itself out of its socket. Yeah, which oddly enough, so some people were able to fix the red ring of death by themselves. wrapping it in a but, towel. Yeah, you would wrap it in a <laughs> towel. I don't get it. And you would purposely overheat the system. Yeah. In an effort to make the part that disconnected, it was like a cable or something that yeah. connected to the you know a card inside, and that the adhesive got hot where it would pull apart and you're. I guess the goal was when you wrapped it and you purposely overheated it, that if you were lucky enough that the parts were laying close enough together, if you reheated it again, it would have basically re-adhere it yeah. accidentally. And I tried this when I had my ring, red ring of death. Sure. Did not work. <laughs> but I had a friend who tried it, and it did work. And obviously I was like, you lucky son of a I put mine in my oven at 365 for two hours. That was the problem. If you and were going to use the bacon. oven... If you were going to use the oven, you had to set it to 360. You oh, went five degrees. What am I doing? Five degrees too much. It was a joke that was totally unplanned <laughs> and very good, by the way, I should say. Uh, that was excellent. Um, yeah, 360. Oh, yeah. oh, I hate myself for not coming I can't, up with yeah. that on my own. I'm surprised. Well I was like, wow, three. Oh, no. <laughs> we had to write this show. Um, uh, so let me see. Now you've completely thrown me off because I had a really good <laughs> point. <laughs> oh, I know what I was going to say. It's yeah. another joke. All right. Anyway, so um, I think Sony is going to fix this. Okay. okay. I really do. I think it's going to be um, like we've talked about this before. Uh, about a, I think it was even like the week before, where uh, you know they're they're instead of releasing like the PS5 and the Xbox Two, they're releasing like these little micro upgrades, right? So what if they release the PS4? Approach, approach, <laughs> right? The PS4 approach, approach. Yeah. So what that system does is not only does it have a 1K or 4K uh, uh, capabilities, it has a one terabyte hard drive and it's roach proof. Extra feature. Extra feature. Extra feature. I'm telling you, you gotta man. get the latest and greatest. Yeah. Like I wasn't gonna get a PS4 Pro, but now if it's roach proof, what's 4K? <laughs> What's one terabits, teraflops? Is it have a teraflop hard drive? Does it flop a lot? How much flopping is going on in that how system? Much, how many uh, roach flops? Roach flopping. So, Terror but uh, <laughs> I, it's so gross, and it, it's like it really is. It's disgusting. And not only that, but I mean, now you're almost providing like a a like 
I don't know, like a sort of like a, a delivery system for other people if they potentially buy your system. You know, what I mean, yeah. like if you trade it in, and granted, like you got to remember, it's kind of like. You know, you don't go to McDonald's got McDonald's expecting a gourmet meal, right? Like, you're just going to get what they're told to make you, and, and hopefully it's great. But, right. you know, you go to any store and you buy a used system, you can only assume that the people there, you know, are... Or eBay. I mean, I've bought consoles eBay. off of eBay before. Imagine right. now, if you buy a console off eBay, particularly a PS4, you really have to do your homework on where it's coming from. Sure. Because now I would be wary of... Obviously Manhattan, but any of the any of the warmer states where roaches are more common, yeah, it's like you know I'm eBaying my PS4. Well, it's got to come from the Arctic tundra. You got to remember too that a lot of these things come from city areas, right? Like yeah. like bigger cities and stuff. Yeah, so like bigger Manhattan, cities and Brooklyn, um, that's where I believe a lot of this issue came from. I mean, those are cities where it's there's like no parks or I'm sorry, like no nature almost. It's just like building after building after building. Right, and these things kind of flock there in a sense right like it becomes an issue well because um, the trash i mean there's a lot yeah of, there's a lot, lot of people trash, a lot of trash lot of people, you, know. you know um that being the case like you know if you maybe go out to like a store out in the country or something like that maybe you won't have that problem i don't know but you know um i i've seen uh like i've seen systems come from the new york state area uh and they're a lot of times not in the greatest condition um I don't know what it is about that area, but man, I'll tell you, some of these things just don't look so hot, you know? And I guess sometimes you don't even know what you're getting, like when you buy a used system. Um, but, you know, yeah, you can save a little bit of money, but you run the risk potentially now of maybe getting your house infested with bugs. I don't know. It's so gross. It's And there's really no easy way to take care of it either. It's not like you can put it out in the cold for a day or put it in your oven at 360. You know, whatever. I don't know. I don't know how. You, I don't know how you get rid of it. Honestly. You would have to fumigate everything. Oh, I mean, it's just, it's just a nightmare. Yeah. Now, I don't expect that they would do this, but imagine if like Xbox decided to really stick it to Sony mm-hmm. and take the low road and <laughs> you know make some kind of marketing they might as campaign. Well at this point, they you need know, something. Make some kind of weird campaign where it's like our console doesn't have roaches. Uh, you know, if Sony went to, you know, if it became enough of a problem for Sony, I imagine they would try to do something. Maybe there's some kind of grate that they could yeah. sell or provide that you just slip it over the, the curb really They tiny. don't have I mean, to redesign The darn them. things look like lightning bugs in a way. You know what I mean? The roaches? Yeah, I mean, they're very, like, thin. So I, I, I don't even know how... Like, they can get big, though. Roaches can get very big. They can, absolutely. But, I mean, the, the most but, common ones are, like, you know, smaller babies, you know, not necessarily mature ones, right? Um, and they're still, those. they can still pose a problem. I can only imagine, like, the lifespan of a bug is, I don't know, probably within a few weeks that they're able to mate and reproduce, you know what I mean? Like, if not even a few days, for that matter. I wonder if after this news, the Xbox Scorpio comes with a little raid roach motel inside, just in case. Do we know if scorpions eat roaches? Because that would be sweet. That would be an awesome marketing campaign. Right, if that like happened. in every Xbox is a live scorpion that protects your <laughs> Xbox from roaches. And it has been specifically trained uh, to protect your Xbox with its life. Dude. I- I buy. I'm, look, all those specs we talked about are stupid compared to a live <laughs> scorpion being in your Xbox. They would have to have a little like glass window in the top. You could just see him chilling in there. It's, it's holding like a sword and a shield in its hand. <laughs> he's got a little it's like claws. Like, he's got a little helmet from the 300 movie on there. <laughs> just like, but if the roaches ever find a way to flip it over and hit its weak point, that'll be the worst. <laughs> like. He would have to do, they'd have to do it three times, though, because that's the rule. Right. And yeah. this is why Sony doesn't put scorpions in their Xboxes, because, or, or giant enemy crabs, for that matter, because they've already exposed the world to the fact that they have weak points in there. But Xbox hasn't divulged their secret yet. That's true. So it's very possible. Yeah. So I guess... Be the, wary? Yeah, I guess the moral of the story is just be careful and tap on your used ps4 to see yeah, if honestly, there's anything that comes out of it what you can do is like if you take your system and usually most systems have like three vents right like two on the side one in the back if you take it and just like lightly tap it on a you know hard surface or whatever what you're looking for are like little black specks um you're looking for legs uh to pop out legs are very common that's one of the mm-hmm. first things you'll see occasionally you'll actually see a dead whole bug in there um it could be even attached to one of the vents it could potentially fall out of the system um, if you do buy a used system, um, for example, anything that has a removable hard drive, make sure you take that out. 
Um, your power brick is another thing on an Xbox, for example. That can also generate a lot of heat. Yeah. Um, there are vents on the sides of those for the, even the 360 and Xbox One models. So you can even like tap those a little bit just to make sure. If you do end up buying anything that potentially has what looks to be um, either like roach fecal matter, potential legs, body parts, and actual roach itself that it just comes out, um, take it back to your store. Uh, at the same time, do not necessarily kill it with your f- like hand or foot or any yeah, sort that of spread thing. A lot if, you know. Supposedly, if you step on a like a, a roach that is carrying babies, um, by killing the roach, that's great, except you may potentially carry the eggs with you into your household, and if they hatch, they will get into your carpet fibers. Or the eggs just spread all over the place. Right. I mean, they well, can go anywhere. You've heard stories of, like, spiders that when you kill a spider and then, like, it's pregnant, like, millions of spiders just appear out of all over the place. It's, like, I've actually crazy. seen those, yeah. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah. Like, I thought there was, like, a little, like, like brown leaf or something in my backyard one time, and I, like, blew on it, and just they went... Yeah, just it's, like this. It's terrifying. It's the kind of thing that nightmares are made of. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's really awful. Um, but these are all these are all good tips um to honestly like protect yourself from potentially having a, a system that could end up costing you way more money than you saved buying it pre owned, possibly. Um you shouldn't have this problem buying new ever. Uh, most likely these manufacturing places have very high standards. I, I wouldn't ever be concerned about that. Yeah. It's mainly buying it from a friend, buying it from a third party source, or buying it from a store that potentially sells used. Just keep an eye on it, and yeah, you should be okay. But you know, if not, just immediately put it in a box, put it in a bag, tie the bag, bring it out there, and be like, "This is uh, this is gross. Get rid of it." It's you a know. PS4 approach. It is the approach. It's the approach, <laughs> and that is our approach. Yeah. To oh god. So a little bit of a weird. Uh, <laughs> An odd segment, I know. I know it's very loosely based on gaming, but I, I, I think I thought it was interesting at least. Well, I've been hearing about it more and more and more. And when I saw the article, I was like, "Oh my gosh, vindication! Finally, yeah. like somebody finally else had the it's, same problem." It's really been a story that creeped up, that crept up really quickly, <laughs> you know, because you hear a couple of these things, and all of a sudden, it's you know, it's front page of Kotaku, which right, is right. which is nuts. So it must be growing in in frequency because it is it's become pretty relevant pretty quickly right and they're gross man i'm just telling you like they move quickly just try to catch it in like a paper towel or something that flush it down the toilet whatever but it's yeah. awful they're they're not good little things that have, I mean, almost everything in your house can be killed removed stepped on whatever it's no big deal but when you get roaches man like you got problems that's not good yeah because you just never know what where the other ones are if there are any more and just you yeah you just got to get that taken care of. That could cost you a lot of money. So, I feel itchy, and I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. <laughs> it's not the worst. Like when you when you think of like a bug, and you're like, oh god, there it is. Yeah, it's like right here. Yeah, you know, there's nothing on you, but yeah. <laughs> um. So, anyways, that was the Down for Punch Cast episode eight, segment two, the PS Approach. <laughs> I don't know if I'll actually title that. That's so good, though. I mean, it, it is, honestly. but until you understand what the topic is, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, well, just do it. I'm sure somebody yeah. will figure it out. They'll be like, why did you, you guys are stupid? You spelled Roach wrong or Pro wrong or PlayStation wrong. Whatever. Be every, like, every time I hear the complain. word Roach, too, I think of the Saved by the Bell episode where Johnny Dakota comes. Did you ever watch Saved by the Bell when you were younger? Oh, yeah, yeah. So there was one episode where Johnny Dakota is like some like teen heartthrob singer or whatever. Okay. He's doing a music video at the school at Bayside. And the kids all meet him and they think he's really cool or whatever. And then Zach goes into the men's room one day as Johnny Dakota's walking out. And he finds this little bit of a joint, like the end, the roach of a joint. Oh, man. And, you know, obviously roach was a term that people use for these things. Still do. But they still like, they used it so many times in that episode where they're, you could just... It felt so contrived. He's like, oh, is this a roach, man? Is this a roach? <laughs> it's like Johnny Dakota. That was like no. back during uh, the, the era where um, they were essentially sending like public, you know, m- messages through television shows. Yeah. Or, you know, like whenever you loaded up Turtles in Time, it's like, <laughs> don't be a loser. Don't do drugs or something or whatever it was. And you're like, right before the game even starts, it had like the Federal Investigation Bureau signature <laughs> thing on it or symbol. Yeah. And it's like, I just want to play Turtles. Like, quit telling me stop doing drugs. I just want to play Ninja Turtles. That's it. But, you know, that was a thing. That was a thing. God, remember that? Like, every arcade machine had that warning on it. Yeah. Like, that was fascinating. I love seeing that. You're just, like, now that I think about it, it's kind of like, like, the only thing we see nowadays in games are, like, 
the uh, the people and events in this game are you know are all fictional. If they're potentially relate to you, just remember that they're not real. It's like that kind of thing, like trying yeah. to protect themselves. I remember uh, I did play a game that actually had a person, and their name in the game was uh, the exact name of my aunt, spelling and everything. That's and crazy. I was like, it finally applied to me. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is so cool. Mark this day down on my calendar. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I like this video. Share it with your friends. Help everybody avoid the roaches in their council. This and is really good material. In fact, honestly, look at this as like a, a PSA, right? Exactly. Like, the more you know, right? Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I mean, this could potentially save a life. Yep. Uh, remember to subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on YouTube, or um, you follow uh, the channel on YouTube, obviously. You can follow me on Twitter. I'm at Sergio Armani, or you can follow the group at, at Downford Punch. That's at DWNFWD Punch. David, this is the time of the show where I ask you right. how you're going to keep communicating with the audience since you always have some <laughs> unique way. I have actually, um, I've been saving a lot of money recently. Okay. And I purchased my own satellite delivery system. <laughs> All right. Um, if you, if you need me, you have to subscribe to a yearly plan. Um, it provides cable, um, a reasonable amount of internet. The upload speeds are really terrible. Unfortunately, we're still working out the kinks. Um, but if you subscribe, uh, you can potentially communicate. I'm the only channel on the network. How is um, it during weather? That's the one thing we put a lot of research into. <laughs> Solid. You'll even if you could have a hurricane. That thing could be flying in the hurricane, and somehow we'll keep the signal. You will never lose contact with me. Well, good. I currently have zero subscribers. We're looking for number one. Could you can be, be you. the first. Could you be can you. be the. F what, what's the service called? Oh, now nah, you've ruined it. <laughs> We're not anything clever. Okay. It's Dave Satellite. <laughs> Dave TV. Dave direct, Network. Direct, direct Dave. Direct Dave. I like it. Direct okay. Dave. You could be the first subscriber to Direct Dave, Dave where you get to watch. Network. It's pretty much just a 24-hour channel of this, right? Just you sitting around. Dave Dish Network. Oh. Uh, Dish Dave Network. Dave TV. What, was, right. what did we say was? Direct Dave. Direct Dave. Direct Dave is where it's at. I'm glad we looped back around to the place <laughs> we were. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. We'll see you soon. Until then, keep on gaming. Yeah.